Hello and welcome back to In the Kitchen with Matt. I am your host, Matt Taylor. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to cook Brussels sprouts. Oh yeah, these are gonna be roasted Brussels sprouts with garlic and bacon. Oh yeah, really easy to do. If I can do it, you can do it. Before I move on, make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, so you won't miss out on any of my new videos. Let's get started. First, let's preheat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Down below in the description box, I will list all the ingredients and their amounts, but this is pretty simple. You can probably remember this. Now I have about a pound of Brussels sprouts here, and I washed them and dried them, and I cut off the little ends, little end right there, about a quarter inch worth, cut that off, and then whatever little extra leaves um, that fell off with it, um, just leave those off. And now what we'll do is we'll just take these and just cut them in half. The small ones we'll just cut in half, we'll put them in a bowl. If they're really large, you probably will wanna cut them into quarters. And now over to the stove top we go with our Brussels sprout halves, our one third to one quarter pound of bacon. I have about four cloves of garlic here that I just cut in half, about three tablespoons of olive oil, and then we have about a tablespoon of balsamic that will, balsamic vinegar that we'll add later, some salt and pepper that we'll add later. All right, so I'm over here on my stove top. I have the, um, the heat set to a little bit past medium. I'm using my stainless steel pan. You can use a cast iron pan as well. And what we wanna do is we wanna add in our olive oil, just a few tablespoons there. I'm not gonna add all of this. And we're gonna let this heat up a little. The pan is already fairly hot. All right, and after the oil is sufficiently hot, we'll just put in our um, Brussels sprouts. Just put them in face down for now, the first layer. And you can just dump them all in and then just use your tongs to put them face down. It doesn't matter a whole lot. We're gonna finish these off in the oven anyway. And then with your tongs, you can switch these, any of the ones, and just get a, you know most of them face down, cut side down on that pan. But you really don't need to worry about it too much. I'm not gonna do all of them. Just There you go. And then we also want to add in our garlic. And then I have the bacon. And you may or may not want to use this much of bacon. You may not use any bacon at all, it just depends. Some people don't eat bacon. I love bacon. If you're on the keto diet, this is gonna be a very friendly keto dish. Reason why I don't use all that olive oil is because I'm gonna get some oil that renders off from the bacon, so bacon fat and grease. All right, you're just gonna be in here for a couple minutes and you'll go until the bottoms look like that, nice and brown. And then we're gonna take this whole thing. Um, you could do this all in a, in a, like a eight by eight pan or eight by 13 pan, something like that, and skip the stove step. But I like to do the stove step. We're gonna pop this whole thing in the oven. That's why I'm using this steel pan or you could use a cast iron pan. You can put this whole thing in the oven and uh, we're gonna cook this for five minutes and stir it all around. Five minutes stir until everything's nice and browned. All right, we're up taking about 35 to 40 minutes. You don't have to change it every five minutes. I, you can do it like every seven or eight minutes. You just don't want it to burn any side. So this looks really nice, nice and dark caramelized um, edges and whatnot, really awesome. And now I'm just gonna kick it with some salt, some pepper. And I don't do, I don't go heavy handed with the salt and pepper, just I like people to add their own as they want. And let's drizzle some balsamic uh, vinegar on there. And we're gonna come in here 
and just give it a nice stir. Oh yeah, it smells really good. And you can use as little or as much balsamic vinegar as you want. And there we go. Oh yeah. And that is how I cook and prepare Brussels sprouts. Growing up, I hated Brussels sprouts, but I love them now. Really easy to do. If I can do it, you can do it. I'm Matt Taylor. This has been another episode of In the Kitchen with Matt. Thank you for joining me. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or requests, put them down below, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thumbs up, down the corner, push it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Take care. Time for me to dive into this. Oh yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Make sure to get some bacon. Mm. Mm -mm -mm.